so in this video we're going to be looking at star citizen ships again however we're going to focus on the c8r um, but the main thing we're going to be looking at is the interior i do though want to go over the exterior of the hull and so if we actually go into solid mode we can see it a bit better the texture itself so if we kind of grab that pull it up the texture itself is very uh non-panel so you can see there's very minimal panel lines and so i'm actually going to be referring from this to my current ship that i'm working on trying to grab inspiration and i not inspiration but trying to fix things as i investigate further on into the star citizen ships so these panel lines they're too small the panels are too small comparatively so we'll go ahead and fix that one up afterwards but let's go back into the cr8 and we're going to do some investigations now this one here very cheap way of doing um like internal structure that's clever i think this is more for when the ship gets damaged but anyway we can talk about that a little bit later uh, just to actually continue on from that with the exterior plenty of decals this is the exterior amount of decals now if you go back and watch my previous video on this we went pretty deep into this and so once again going to take a lot of inspiration and bring it back to my ship however let's go on the internals so more just removing the doors there we can see already all the decals present so if we click on this we can see that it's actually a whole mesh however over here on the right hand side we can just see how many materials are involved on this one panel uh, now, since I've been playing with this quite a bit, I know that I think it's the POM. That's all our decals materials. So if I go to select, we can just see how many um, decals are present uh, for that one material. There we go. That's better. So if we actually jump over into shading and we zoom, zoom, zoom on it. Over here on the left hand side, we can see this is all the UV unwrapping involved for each of the individual decals that are sitting over the top. This is like so good. So for instance, here, this piece here, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's a decal. There's not geometry there. Gosh, dang it. Um, even there's small little arrows around here and just, it brings so much to life, which is just super frustrating. But this is kind of like why we're going into these deep dives is to take, uh, you know, how people do things better than us and hopefully be able to implement it onto our own items. Well done, Marco, you said that well. The floor. If we were to select all our decal mesh, let's go select. And I'm just going to go hide on that for now. Well, actually, let's select our floor. Our main floor, sorry, our main floor pieces. Control L. That's... Ah, that's not decals there. That's just mesh that they've chopped up. So here, they're actually... <clears throat> yeah, I thought this was just going to be a texture, but no, this is actually mesh mesh that they have chopped up and just applied different materials to it obviously the caution sign will be a decal so if we go click on that one down to here let's grab that and then we can quickly see where it comes from caution gosh dang it let's have a look at this panel if i were to select the main panel invert my selection and then we just do a h doesn't necessarily remove all the decals but these two uh seem to be the main parts what's this Oh, it's just an object which hasn't come across properly. Ooh. This, is, this piece here is stinking everywhere. And if we actually have a look at the size of the texture, can we have a look at the property image? Let's uh, check that out. Right click. Oh, I can't do it from here. Right click. Properties. It's only a 2K texture. And we've got a 2, 2K texture only using this little bit of information, which is being superimposed onto everything. Your decal as well. Oh my goodness. Just trying to find where's that located right there. Okay. Um, and once again, yes, we will be taking a whole bunch of this kind of like information findings. And as we kind of go around the whole ship slowly, but surely we're going to be finding all these decals. Now, obviously I did have a quick peek beforehand. This one here, is this small area just stretched um over here i think there was some of this trim which is this stitching so if we actually have a look on this one this is the texture it's just a stitch over here in the bottom left hand corner we'll bring it up to the top that's it that is freaking genius so we've got a leather material with a decal over stitch over the top 
makes me kind of want to buy this ship and actually walk around in, in the game. Not just yet. However, if you do want me to buy a ship, like and subscribe and tell me which one I should buy. The other thing around here, where are we? This floor section was really interesting to me. So this is all just one giant piece. Let's actually find the material. And if we click onto here, we can see that it is kind of like this standardized texture that goes across everything, um, even the external exterior of the ships. If we bring that up into here, that is how it is UV unwrapped. So if we actually come down into this section, we can actually see that we've actually got some stretching. Let's go into material mode. There's actually stretching right there. My, hey, hello, what's this then? What's this then, eh? A uh, gray panel. In saying that, I don't know if that's an artifact of the conversion process. Um, the tap here was fairly interesting. Oh yeah, I broke the texture, I forgot about that. The way this is, we've got temperature gauge, we've got our number gauge, funnily enough, those are not decals. So if we actually go into solid mode, into edit mode, we can actually see that's mesh. So it's just a mishmash of a whole bunch of things. Um, although this is a medical frigate, I'm assuming, because it looks a little bit medically, there are still takeaways we can take away. So jumping back into this ship and we're just gonna touch on this. This will be on Wednesday's video where I will go a little bit deeper. If we were to select this outside piece first, I'm just gonna select that. Let's go into UV editing, which I already am, but I've deleted the window on the left. Let's get rid of the mass. The mass is all the panels and we're just gonna change that to plating and then we'll just fix it up. I'm just gonna move it like that. And so now we've already got this pretty pretty big change. Um, let's do it onto the back one as well while we're here. We'll change that to plating, select all, and we'll just line that puppy up. Control L, rotate 90. Just slot that in there. And then we'll be able to come over to the top. D, let's go ahead and start adding in some of our things. Um, we might just grab that, rotate Y. I don't want it to be that one, so let's go match. Plating, it should be plating. Shift, scroll that up. I don't think we're gonna be good here. Default, default is the white. And then we can do kind of like this stuff. And because this is such a small ship, we can get away with just having it as one piece. I mean, that's something technically, you know, if we think about industrialism in the future, they're gonna have big presses or world lines, but uh, I don't think it'd be very noticeable. We can kind of see how these are coming through. And obviously we can go around the bout creating a whole bunch of these holes. Now, obviously the way I previously did it, had it lined up with the um, panel lines, but this is something that Spooky said, which is one of my members over on Discord. Uh, he did say that, yeah, the panel lines were too big. But then coming inside, it is very bland. I will have to do, um, add in some geometry as well. However, kind of like with the door, if we kind of zoom in on that, there are things that we could probably do to accentuate, <laughs> I think it's the right word, <laughs> to make this look a lot better. Um, and it'll be definitely kind of like accessing, you know, small things here, push. When adding decals, if it's like that, I got a feeling that the normals are facing the wrong way. So if we come into face orientation, door is red, shift N, beautiful back into here. Let's do G, hold control. I might just jump into Eevee just for now, just for a little bit. Nice. And the real interesting thing was, is when we we're doing the breakdown of the um, Argo Miner, just how some of those doors will happen. So I'm gonna actually grab, uh, for instance, this. Let's maybe do this. Shift D, I'm gonna go G to the Y. Let's go P, separate by selection. And I'm gonna go into kind of like this view. Let's go around the outside. Can't scale it that way. Just want to move this over. Let's move this over. From here, E to extrude. Let's make that a face. Let's make this a face. Select all, Shift N, G to the Y. So it's sitting just like so. Shift left click. Let's press D for decal machine, link in the description for it. That panel line is a little bit too big. And I think we had too many vertices in the corner. Why is it blur? Then let's just kind of adjust it really quick. What is the width? Just scroll that in a bit. Do a D to adjust and pull it out. I think we're gonna have to re-put it in there. But like that, we can do this. It can be done. 
And that's the exact same thing we can do on the floor. So for instance, I might just add in a mesh cube, do a control B to do a bevel, deselect, slice. And now we've kind of got this panel on the ground. Then we can start throwing in some other objects. Uh, we'll scale that down, just put it into place. And then this is kind of like the problem that we have is we get a little bit of yucky overlap, but it is okay. And then we snap it like so. Uh, let's make sure it's actually even. So I'm going to go up into item at uh, the X axis, and then we'll do that. However, we will remove the minus. That's cool. Shift D Y rotate 180 on the Z. Put that about there. You know, we got this. It can be done. It can be done. What is this? What's your problem? Uh, I think I might remake those panels, but obviously we're going to go around and create a whole bunch of panels. But this is more of a breakdown on doing a little bit more interior stuff. So Wednesday's video, we're going to go into a little bit deeper around doing more things on the internal section, probably actually update some of the 3D models just to make it look a little bit prettier. I know there's definitely some ideas on this kind of stuff. Kitchen area, I know is kind of stupid, but it'll be kind of a little bit funny. This here, uh, what I will do is with the bed is probably tilt it up so it sits like that. And then underneath here is going to be the exhaust fan. Um, but definitely we'll come in, add some extra geometry, so on and so forth. And I intend that once we come in and do the cockpit, obviously here we're going to throw in a lot more decals and such through here. Whoa, what the heck? 